Welcome, in front of me is a OnePlus 8 Pro and today I'll show you how to go to the setup process of the device. So when you put the device for the first time, you'll be presented with this screen right here. So number one, let's choose our language, which I'm actually gonna stick with English, which is selected by default, so let's just tap on cancel. But if you want to change it, all you need to do is tap on this selection right here and choose from the list of basically every language there. And once you have chosen your language, tap on start. Uh, one plus terms and conditions, so let's just stop and I agree. Yep. Um, user experimental program, I'm gonna opt out of this. You can read exactly what they do and also the terms of service, uh, which you have to agree to anyway. Um, so yeah. Then you will see the connect to a mobile network. Now, basically it just tells you that you can insert your SIM card right here and it literally changes nothing if you do it right now or later. The only benefit of inserting it right now um, is if you need to verify your Google account, which if this is a brand new device, you will not have such a thing. Um, so if you would have to verify, you don't have to connect to Wi-Fi, it will just use your mobile network to connect and see if the device is locked or not. But in any other case, if you insert SIM card right now, later, next day, one year or next lifetime uh, it will literally not change anything so you can skip this right now uh, then you have wi-fi connection if you connect you will be able to uh, connect to google uh, same as with the sim card uh, if you have any kind of network connection you will be able to then just log into google account i'm gonna opt out of this just to save on time then you have date and time which would be set automatically if you choose to connect to network um, if you don't you can set it up autom automatically uh, because right now it's incorrect um, So let's stop on next um, Then you have some Google services. So you have uh, location services device maintenance I can read what they do and disable or enable them as you like as you can see uh, And then tap on accept once you have chosen whatever you want then you have oneplus uh, co-creator user programs um, so you have some built-in app updates, uh, push notification system. Um, you can read what it does, you can skip it or agree to it. Um, I'm gonna skip this, don't really feel like even figuring out what it exactly is, but if you want to know, you can. It also tells you that, I guess, later on you can access it in system experimental improvement programs. So in your settings and system, um, disagree. Then you have how to use fingerprint. Um, it's an option for you to add some kind of protection to your device and if you choose to add a fingerprint, which I will actually do that uh, You will also have to set up a different way of unlocking the device that be either f f pin pattern or password um, You cannot just have for instance a fingerprint so Let's tap on next and there it is by default it opts out into pin, but you can uh, tap here create locked option um, So you have pattern and password also I'm gonna go with the pattern. That's what I prefer So I'm gonna draw the pattern tap on next redraw the same pattern once more confirm And I get to scan my finger So make sure that your finger isn't like dirty or anything and then start scanning it on The sensor now in this case right here. You kind of need to press your finger to the screen um, if you just Gently tap on it. It sometimes does this as you can see either it doesn't read it at all Or it does this like wobbly uh, that it basically doesn't want it uh, So you have to kind of at the setup press your finger to it And let's tap on next and continue So you want to get your entire finger basically the middle along with all of its edges and Hello Now the setup is really tedious on this device for some reason, um, like it doesn't want to... It's kind of picky on the fingerprints and stuff like that, but once you add it, it works really well. So you'll see that in a second. Up on next, uh, then you have navigation bar gestures. Um, now here you can opt into using the default ones as you remember the buttons. So you have the uh, home in the middle, uh, recent on the right and back on the left. Or you can use the navigation gestures, which I personally like more. 
uh, but if that's not your cup of tea, you can hop into the normal ones. And once you stick with the gestures, which are selected by the default, uh, it will go through a tutorial on how to use them. It's a fairly quick one, so uh, slide back from the sides, uh, slide up for home, and slide and hold for recent. And then let's stop on start. And there we go, so the device is now set. And just so you can see the fingerprint. Give me a sec because it's... There we go, so now it'll work. It's kind of weird on how it reacts to it. If you double tap, it doesn't want to take the finger at all. There we go. So as you can see, it's fairly reliable. It just has some kind of weird way of dealing with when it accepts the finger. Um, but yeah, so that is how you would go through the setup process of the device. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank you.